Hi, welcome to Dizzy Boho channel. This is what we're going to be creating today. Um, a little patchwork heart and a journal. And we're going to also patch inside with some lovely sari silk. So, let's get going. I hope you're keeping safe and well. I'm recording this during the really strange times with the COVID-19 coronavirus. And I would imagine a lot of you are on lockdown, same as I am. I actually teach at a, a college. The last two weeks have been busy doing online courses, which has been interesting. I've got a few days off, so I thought I would actually do something creative to try and keep me occupied. Because it's good to keep occupied during this time because then it stops you dwelling on things. Um, I'm going to do a little cover for a journal and I'm doing it with just an offcut of a pair of jeans that I cut up for shorts because I thought it's something we could all have hanging around and something that everyone can do and I, I want a heart on it because um, I just feel hearts are a thing for me right now because um, my heart's going out to everyone who's dealing with this in one way or another um, lots of sad news and uh, lots of good news of everyone trying to rally round and take care of those who need it and um, yeah, it's, it's difficult times. M my heart goes out to all the carers and the public services and especially the NHS, oh my gosh. And to the whole world to be honest, not just London and UK, the whole world are uh, really going through it right now so um, I feel really strange, I had a really difficult time starting this video because I thought there's so much going on but do you know we still need to do really good stuff. I've been watching um, some great art on, on Instagram um, with people just sharing their, their, their ways of working and I thought do you know what it's keeping everyone's spirits up so that's what I'm thinking, trying to do with this, keeping spirits up. So um, I cut I cut this up already to give a size and I've sort of thought yeah I'd like it about there because that's I quite like that raggedy front. So all I've done really is cut the shape of the of the um, journal and then so it can be wrapped around. Obviously I'll, I will also stick some um, more in there but I quite like the patchwork look and um, I've also want to put a little heart made out of patchwork bits and I did this by cutting out a heart shaped template which um, I just did by uh, folding a piece of paper and then just drawing half a heart which works out quite well and then I cut it out just easy cut that out and then you get the um, the other side cut and they're, they're a good shape otherwise I, I always go wonky I mean wonky is good sometimes it looks more handmade that's fine doesn't really matter does it and I, I don't know if that's a bit small but I thought quite skinny books that should be all right so um, I'm gonna cut cut that out of denim now if I draw around it let's do it around this way see what I mean yeah do it on the back because otherwise it might show and it'll come out a little bit bigger, which isn't a bad thing, I don't think. Because this is quite diddy. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a little patchwork heart for all those people out there working to support everybody. Even the people working in the shops and delivery people, everybody who's out there trying to keep everywhere going. Oh, you know, big love, big love. Big love for them right now. And so, I bought these scissors and I'm, I'm keeping them just for cutting out material because I'm I'm shocking the way I use my scissors. I'm, yeah, I'm not not fantastic. At, um, I use them to cut wire and things I shouldn't. <laughs> so I thought I'd be good with this one and just 
I'm going to cover this up anyway with um, little bits of fragments of material so there's something else you can do any any old clothing that you haven't got around to take to the charity shop or um, you know or take them wherever you take your old clothes um, and or maybe you've got bought some scraps I mean I was really uh, lucky that I had bought some beautiful sari scraps from a shop on Etsy I can't remember the name right now but I will put it underneath the, the uh, video so that'll go there and but I'll be I'll be arranging all these scraps on it but let's stick this first so I'm going to use the um, three in one which is really good and waterproof and sticks anything or we'll see see how it does with denim because I've uh, never done it I've never done this before by the way I've I was just on the phone to my mum because I can't can't see my mum right now I haven't visited her because she's um over 70 and I worry about she well she put herself in um isolation quite early which was good really was I didn't think it was good at the time because I really miss seeing her and doing things for her but I think it's best all round you know um because she could be quite vulnerable so anyway I was on the phone to her just now because we're on the phone a lot <laughs> at the moment and I told her what I was going to, going to do here and she said oh you tried it out then you've done it before and I went no she went what you're just going to do it and I thought oh yeah <laughs> that's that's yeah that's what I'm like I just thought I should just have a go and see how it comes out it seems really straightforward to me so right first of all let's glue on the back here and let me get some scrap paper to glue onto because otherwise oh messy 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 does and this glue is go this glue go <laughs> this glue is quite gloopy look it's pumping out already right okay so generously put this on and this this is like very similar this is called um three in one but it's similar to the other one uh, oh my gosh i can't remember what the name is so it does everything uh fabric fabric tack <laughs> there you go so make sure you uh, put plenty of glue here because I would imagine that will come under a lot of strain. I might even reinforce that with um Oh blimey, this is strong this stuff. Woof. Oh, it's cool. Um, I might have to open a window, ventilate the room. That was that's a bit woo. Right, I'm gonna be quiet now because I'll speed this up so you won't have to sit there watching me glue this stuff on. a lot of glue I don't even know if I put enough on okie dokie let's get rid of that in a minute make sure I put it in the place that I want it to go on yay I don't know is that straight I don't know ooh Bit of a ridge there. I, I should have put even more glue on. Oh, this glue is pretty harsh. I don't normally notice that. Maybe it's because I don't usually use that much. <laughs> the uh, things are a little bit harsh, but I really need it to stick well to this fabric. Oh, I wonder. Maybe I should. Um, Use the bone folder, that'll help, won't it? The bone folder. Multitude of uses. Um, I don't know if 
for a, to stitch around the edge as well. Um, maybe I'll do that. But you don't need to if you haven't got a machine, it's fine. Well, fingers crossed, that is not bad. Ah! <laughs> Pretty good glue, isn't it? Look at that, how quick that was. Wow. And I know this isn't straight and it looks all higgledy piggledy, but oh, can you see there? I put F for front as just <laughs> so that I knew I'd get it because I am terrible for that. Putting things on upside down and all the way around, and yeah, so it's a good, good thing to to signpost it. Right, so next I've got to cut those corners. So I've got to be uh, just checking that it's still on because sometimes it just goes off. I'll just have a sip of coffee. Mm. Okay, so I need to nip the corners off but I've got to be careful I don't go too close because otherwise that's not a good thing. So if the corner is there, I'm going to go just above that, yeah, and then I might take that bit down as well, because, so can you see, I've not gone too close, because what I want to do, oh no, what I wanted to do, yeah, I will do it, unstick it, I want to stick that little tab in, I don't know if you can see, oh my gosh, so I've got that like that, I've actually pulled it up a little bit and I'll re-glue it and I'm going to, see I've cut at an angle there and then I've cut an angle down there, it just thins it out a little bit, so I'm going to tuck that in nicely and then I'll fold that over and I can always put another bit of material over the top to hide those bits if you don't like them but I don't mind okay let's get back to it oh, my battery ran out just good job I was actually checking it so um yeah we've got to I've shown you how to fold this up so I'm now going to stick that back down first thing and then I'll do the other corners so Down first. I want to get that corner nice and tight. So I'll stick this in first and then I'll re glue this bit. I hope I can open up the others otherwise. Yeah, I should have thought of that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Don't glue the uh, corners. Lesson learnt until you've um, done your little turn in some cuts so yeah great stuff it's alright just gonna put a bit in there and then all the, all the way along sorry I was <laughs> looking myself and not showing you at all that's great isn't it very good <laughs> not There you go, Ugh. go, go, put the lid on otherwise it doesn't do it any good, it goes gloopy very quickly. Okay, tighten that up, so it's tucked in, come on, that's it, and then do the top, how's that corner looking? In a little bit, yeah, not bad, not bad. Now, this and I'll quickly um, cut there as well. Yeah, so pretty. 
and they do the same. <laughs> right, so I can actually glue all along here. Oh, where's my gluing paper? to the edge. So I want to make that corner nice and neat. Yay. Tuck that in. Put it over really tight. So what I should have done? Yeah, maybe I've done that underneath, but that's okay. Yeah, now I see why I should have practiced this first, hey. <laughs> see what the best steps are to do first. There's a little bit of that gloopy stuff there. Okay. This probably would be easier with some um, canvas rather than um, denim. So you can put some glue under here, but if we glue the ends that should be fine, shouldn't it? So oh, gloopy gloopy glue fingers, but yeah once again I'm going to cut the corner here at an angle, cut that up at an angle, then tuck them in. And that does peel off so we're fine. Make sure that's lovely and tight. Oh, look at that. I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah. So, just as a reminder, find the um, corner and just go just above it, don't go right on it. And then that down to the end so you can just stick it down I may really you know what I should have done really is cut this bulky edge off but I quite liked it so I left it but in hindsight it probably would look less bulky but hey so I'm going to glue under here then I'm going to peel that back just a tad tuck that in nice and nice and neat and then pull that over and glue it down okay so I'll come back when I've done all the edges cool okay I've, I've stuck all these down I did actually thought I was recording this last bit but it didn't record <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing but you can see practice does uh, help to improve because I think this is a bit neater than the first one, that's the last one. I've also um, put some clips on here because I had a seam running through that bit and that was really quite hard to stick down. So can you see these bulky bits here? So these, these clips are great, they helped. But pegs will do if you haven't got any clips, just peg them down. Okay, so I'll... Do a little patchwork down there and a little patchwork down there as well. So that's the back. And I wanted this to be the front, it could be either way really. Oh no, it can't because I've got something in here. I think. Oh yeah. That's when I took my students to the um, National and the Portrait Gallery. I was going to put some little images in there. So yeah, this is the front. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Good times when we were going out and about to um, London galleries with the students. Now it's all virtual, but yeah, it's working okay at the moment, which is good. Still trying to get things done and working online with them. It's been hard work, but it's been good. Anyway, sorry, I'm digressing. So yeah, it looks really good, doesn't it? Really nice and um, straightforward, but I, I want to do the little heart, and I've got loads of little 
pasted the, the, um, the sari material and I've got the heart shape I'm going to stick it onto and this is like, look, this is uh, the lovely sari scraps that you can get but you may have something really lovely something old that you've got yourself that you'll be happy to um, cut up into little patches I don't know Wow, nice. Don't know, should I cut up any more? I don't know. What's this? It's really a lovely colour. Let's see, I don't know if I've got enough or not really. Let's just roll this up. Oh, careful, I don't lose all my scraps. Let's put them up there. Yeah. Goes, doesn't it? Let's cut a little square anyway. The more the merrier, and then I can pick and choose, can't I? Cut that, and then I can cut it to whatever size I need. And I don't even know if I'll use that bit. It's a bit big. way to smarten up things just covering them with old scraps that you was you normally uh, just chuck oh it's pretty oh my gosh it's so lovely I'm just gonna go around them again I don't think I'll stick with what I did I weren't that happy with it so they put that on there is that the right way around yeah Fiddly, fiddly, because it's so tiny. Right, that looks okay. And then maybe that, no, that go down that way. Yep. I don't know about that one. Maybe it's come over a little bit so we don't see. Well, it doesn't matter if we see the denim, does it really? And then I love this bit, it's that deep intense colour there, it's so nice. Oh, I see it. Oh, I should go over there. I think I'm going to go for it because, I don't know though, you know the only thing, I'd love this but I don't know. Let's try it. <laughs> oh, what else have we got? What else have we got? Oh, what are we? Oh, I think I might use a bit of that. Oh, I don't know. I see, it seems so bad to cut it up, doesn't it? But. Oh, let's, let's give it a whirl. Oh, pretty. Let's see if that goes better. Yeah. Oh yeah. Love it. I think. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Let's go get this. Okay, I'm back. Can't ignore the phone nowadays. Right now, can you? So it was my mum. I'm going to get some, venture out and get some shopping for her. She just remembered something else for the list. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give it a go. I think this is pretty. And it might look nice if you've got a sewing machine to sew it around as well. I think that'd look really good. Um, I have got one, but whether I will or not, who knows, I'll decide. So I want to get that. 
want to get both those uh, diamantes in, to be honest. Um, yeah. A bit more glue. Great stuff. Put them like that, and then I know where they're going. There you go. there. Hopefully once I cut round it this will look a lot better. Um, what next? This bit? So pretty. And hearts. I love hearts anyway but um, right now I really want to send out the love. This is going to be um, going to be writing in this and putting stuff in. So it'll be my journal for this time, and uh, you just have to think of the think of the love you're sending out to everybody around the whole world. Um, That glue uh, will hopefully dry and not show like that. But I think I've been maybe a little bit heavy handed with it. But hopefully, we'll see. See how it looks, hey? I love that intense pink there. Lovely. Dip up a little bit. And then, oh my gosh. In everywhere and this at the bottom yeah I think oh try to do it like that yep so I can get a little bit of the purple as well as the uh the green so I'm just just putting in a little bit glue there and then I can see if I can just get a little bit of the purple as well yeah that's it a little bit frayed but the glue should um, fix that I'm just going to stick that over there oh way too much glue whoa okay Let's let that rest for a little minute before I cut it. Oh, <laughs> it's sticking to the paper, it's not good. So, once that's glued down, then I can. Uh, oh, is that a little bit? Yeah, I thought so. Just a little tad here. Just don't come out too crazy on me. Just a little bit. That's it. No, it's not. It's too much. <laughs> yeah. Great. You can manoeuvre it a little bit as well, which is good to start with. Um, right, let's leave that to dry a minute and I'll come back to have a drink of my coffee. Okay, I think uh, that's dry now. So a uh, good little template can be kept for another day and I can put that aside for now. And all I'm going to do these little scissors see if they work I'm just going to cut around the shape 
and hopefully that will come out really nice on the other side and with a bit of luck <laughs> oh, I hope that's gone down to the point but we'll see I'm going to stick a little bit more on it's fine isn't it it hasn't got to be perfect says me <laughs> it's my excuse anyway oh. oh wow that's better than I anticipated looks much better once you cut it out doesn't it Keep everything on terrible. Okay. Oh, look! And I don't, I know that that would look really sweet sewn around, so if anyone wants to do that, I think that would be a great idea. But I'm gonna actually, uh... yeah, it would look really nice sewn around the edge. But could do a completely unsewn today. I'll just keep this shut a minute. Yeah. Could have been bigger, couldn't it really? But I think it looks quite sweet. So once again the good old uh, three in one or fabric tack. Whoops, I left the lid off, that was a bit naughty. A bit foolish. I think that's the best place, that's where I had it in my mind. To go. Oh no. <laughs> Bad move. Start um, changing my mind. It's not good. Oh, I don't know now. Should I go for the original place I wanted? Yeah, let's go for it. So, as you uh, can see from the rest of it, this has um, done great. Really um, worked out well. This glue, which I know, I know it's good, but I've never used it to stick material. Although I know it's supposed to be really good for it, and uh, yeah, I'm pleased with the uh, how it's come out. Ooh, lid, lid, lid. Okay, that's really sweet, isn't it? I like that. I have to try that again. Do some more. Um, right, I did, I was bringing up some, uh, a little, um, metal name tag, hold on, I'll just go and get them and see how that looks. Okay, I think I found some things that I could use, I've even found some little, um, oh, who's the sound of my chair, little heart bread things. <laughs> I think they're called brads, yeah. And they look really nice in there. And then that on there, maybe. Okay, I'd have to use my um all. This could be uh the all or technical term a lot of people say pokey thing. <laughs> I'll take that off for a minute and then decide where this is going to go. I think it, I know it should it should be a little bit more gold a bit to match the luster of that, but I think I think it'd be nice just to, and then I can do a little piece of paper and put um journal on there. Right, I'm going to do this by eye. I should measure it, but I'm usually pretty good. So look. Yeah, I think that'll be alright. Maybe a tad over. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Actually, let's just hold it up so I don't go through the page. Yeah, it's gone through. I'll do one at a time. Ooh, maybe not. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> and then just flick that over. Straighten it. Keep it hot. I'll go and find these. Amazing what you can find when you search around. God, I don't know when I. Now, hopefully that looks straight. Hold it. Be careful your fingers. It goes through there really easy actually. And then these don't go in so easy. Oh. Well, take it back, I did. Oh, that's because it hasn't gone through the, the denim. That's good because that one can be um, covered up, can't it? Great stuff. Sweet. Gosh, must have had them ages. I don't know where they were. So I can actually... Uh... Oh, I hope that's straight. I can put a little bit of sheet of paper with journal in. And then I can patch these up. I've just got to find some more denim and maybe cut that a bit straighter. Yeah. And that'll have to go over there, unfortunately. Or I could even do some of this fancy stuff. Can I? Maybe. Oh, look at that. A beautiful colour. Wow. Like slubby silk. It's lovely. Yeah. I could um, cut that in and just stick it down. Or... Pair of jeans. It's a different colour, but I don't think we want to use this other leg because uh, I'd like to do another book with this, another sketchbook with this this leg. If I use that up, then that's it, isn't it? But it would match better, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, maybe that's what I'll do. Cut that in and stick it down. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that or the pink. It would be nice, wouldn't it, to open it out, up and have a little surprise splash of pink. Or could just do loads of little patchwork. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Right. I'll cut up some little squares and then uh, I'll come back. Hi, so I'm back and I've cut lots of um, little squares out of this lovely material and um, I've placed them, I suppose they are in a bit of a sequence, and I thought I'd put that definitely put that over there or I did have I did think maybe this one but I like this because it's a heart and it's it's gold to match the rest so I'll do that first and I'll just try and do it on this little heart because uh, it might show through and just round the stitching because that's so delicate that that material <laughs> And that will cover up the little ends of the brads poking through. And it looks quite nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll turn this over like that. <laughs> like this. So I roughly get how I want it. And what I'm going to do is actually... Um, Oh, I think that was, yeah. Mm. 
Yep, that's fine. I'm going to just glue down here and then I'll cut the ends off. Hopefully, hopefully that'll look okay. So, move away from this because when you use quite a lot of this, you have to be really careful with the fumes, you know. So, I've opened the window and ventilated the room. And um, maybe I'll do a bit by bit. Let's do up to here. That'd be best. And then uh, just place it in where I want it. It's got a bit of a fold on the end. I hope that's going to stick all right. Uh, how do I want this? <laughs> I'm changing things as I go, shouldn't should I? Okay. So I need to... Oh, that's why I had it that way, because this was straight. Oops, oops. <laughs> It's it? half down. I can trim all those after. I hope it's going to look alright. <laughs> Too many decisions to make. As you can see, doing it on the fly and on the go. And um, hopefully, if anyone's doing this along with me, you're, you're um, just creating it as you want to as well and putting your own like spin on it. <laughs> okay, hopefully that's good to go. Do you know what? I'll just stick this down because... That might come unstuck otherwise. Okay. Push it in. A bit of it need to there, sorry. Um now this one's oh, that's odd. We're overlapping now. I don't know if I need that extra bit at the bottom. Mm. bit smaller and that'll be fine. <laughs> A little bit of glue over here and we're good to go. Hmm. Yeah. Hopefully I'm going to cut that. I don't mind this um, these little bits, but I'll tidy up a little bit, hey? And then um, what I'll do, when this is dried, I'll, uh, I'll trim all these ends off. And we'll see how it looks. Oh, dearie. 
glue gets everywhere. Yeah, I'm really glad I did that. It gives it a big splash of colour. Because that heart could have been bigger, never mind. Woo, look at that. <laughs> Let's um, glue this down a bit more. It's, I don't know why it's coming up. Great stuff. I'm quite happy with that. I know I should wait. <laughs> but, um. Oh, yeah, I should wait. It's not dry. Yay! Can use those little scraps again as well, can't I? Make some more patchwork because I'm quite loving this patchwork stuff. It looks really good, really effective. Now it could be uh, a lot better. There you go, that's better. Mm, maybe the skinnier scissors. and then we just did it sometimes that's the way to go think about things too much and then we don't do anything so sometimes it's just good to go with it and I, I quite like I quite like the um, haphazardness of it as well Obviously, you could, once again, if you're into sewing, you could actually um, sew that onto a, a strip of denim and then do some more stitching in it. Could look really good, couldn't it? But, um, oh, I like that. I'm quite happy. Really nice, vibrant colours, so... Actually makes that look... <laughs> less colourful. I feel like I need some of this bright splash of colour. I could put that in there, can I? <laughs> and then stamp on there. Maybe I'll do that. I'll actually put a nice splash of pink in there and use stamps. Yeah. Oh, oh, lid. That reminds me. Put the lid on. So yeah, you open it up and there you go. You've got a lovely splash of colour. like it. So simple, isn't it? Straightforward. I just thought I'd give my, my take on it. And you can use any material you want, hey. But off cuts, great. You know, if you haven't if you haven't got anything in and you can't order anything in, you've got to use what you've got. So these jeans are now a pair of shorts and now they're also covering a book and I've got enough as well to hopefully cover another one and do something different. Nearly went and didn't show you this. I cut the end off of the jeans, you know, the hem, like this. This is the other leg. I cut it off because it's really bulky and turning over. And I thought, I saw that sitting in the bowl there, and I thought, hey, that would be great as a tie up. So let's try and um, stick that onto the back. I mean, I've really just gone for it <laughs> without measuring, but um, oh my god, I'm getting everything stuck on me. All these little feathery. So if you if you stick that on there, 
like that and obviously I think I'll need to hand stitch that to make it more secure but if I just hold it because I'm too eager so you can twist that round and then tuck it in and then uh, make a nice secure holder if you if you want to carry it around rather than put it into your um, travel journal and you can uh, just keep it in your bag you know when this is over and we can move around again and we're not on lockdown you can just put it in your bag and um, it's quite nice and neat and it keeps it keeps it together also I was thinking like once it's done and finished I could actually clip a little boho bead if you're uh, interested in making these, these are so easy and really sweet. I've got a um, video, I'll leave the link underneath this one. So yeah, I just thought that would be a nice little addition to the back. Clean that up. Um, yeah. Okay, I hope you enjoyed spending time with me today. It's been good spending time with you guys and I just want to send you out a lot of love and be safe. Take care, bye.